for the parts. So the first part here to be part of any self-supporting ministry, not necessarily. I mean, there are activities by church members which are crucial. Um, the question is how they relate to the church. I still remember in my home church, for example, we, we had at that time one of these uh, net evangelists, and our local church decided not to participate. But there was a physician in this family that said, we will do that. So, and this, so the church members were met, meeting in the house. So the church at large had, had decided to have this campaign. The local church said no. Church members participated anyway. I think this is not not a problem. But the problem is, uh, we see that in the within the structure of the actual church, there is a certain. Uh, on a local level, but also within the administrative level, there is a certain, a certain extent of control which is necessary. What you can find out in the New Testament, not all things go. If that were the case, why would we have the letters of the New Testament? Most of the letters of the New Testament, for example, deal with some problems in the churches, heresies or other problems. Um, so, um, if we have a self-supporting ministry and is supportive of the church and willing to go with the church and the church recognizes them, I, these ministries, I have not a problem with that. Um, if there are individual um, attempts to do things, uh, I think this is okay. It becomes more problematic, I think, if we say we are not... We are distancing ourselves from the conference, for example, and try to go with the union or division. Um, now, why we don't prescribe that precisely? Um, I give you an example. Um, we had church members coming from from Russia to Germany. And they felt a little unhappy in some of the churches in Germany either for a good reason or not. But, so they came to Germany, lived there, and they gave the tithe back to the, to the division, which, which covers the territory of, of, of the former Soviet Union. But they did not support the ministry from which they benefited. And on the other hand, the division there did not know what to do. They said, we cannot, on one hand, we have to accept that. On the other hand, we feel awkward to keep the tithe, which does not belong to us. It should belong to that territory. Because it's needed in that territory. It's not needed in our place so much. Yeah? And I think we have to, this is a very delicate issue. Um, so it's difficult to tell, but but uh, as a church entity, as a local church, I would not want to be independent of the conference. And I don't know if the union would be happy to have a local church directly being attached to, to the union if there is a conference. I mean, you have union conference, I mean, you have unions which are unions of churches, but you're not talking about that. There is no conference. This is different ballgame. But I think here you have the issue of the church, and the church doesn't want to belong to the conference. Sometimes there are good reasons for that, uh, or seemingly good reasons. But still, I mean, this is our, our struggle always. We may not be content with all what we have, and there may be difficult circumstances, and sometimes as a pastor, I had to be in difficult churches. I could not just stay. I'm, I'm just using, trying to have the best churches. So I had, had to, to go through that process. And sometimes such a process is help, helpful for our own self, but also for the others. So therefore, I would be a little hesitant when it comes to the second part, not so much with the first part of the question. Okay. Thank you so much. We have, uh, uh, maybe we'll give five more minutes because we have many questions coming in, but at least a few of them we can entertain.